Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I want to show you how you can create a face with blinking eyes and a talking mouth and later how you can create a button which when pressed will trigger an emotion in your face. Let's start with a moving mouth. Okay, hit the ring, hit create thing as usual. I'll drag in a little face here, make it green, give it with two eyes like this and I'll give it an upper part of the mouth like an upper lip like this and a lower lip like this let me paint this green by the way you can always pick colors with the back side of your pencil also from other objects around you now some teeth Like this. I'm doing this faster than usual just for demonstration purposes. Now we want to script the bottom part of the lip. We want to say when it's being talked from then go to state 2 which would be this and then go back and forth like this. So we are in state 1. Now we say when, now we page a bit, when talked from then become number 2. In 0.1 seconds for example what is number two this is the second state and then we just move it while we have the second state pressed and now we can see there's, a, there's this animation and for the second cell we simply go back to the first right away so when starts then become number one in the same amount of time 0.1 seconds and now can save this can also give it a name first face and we will save it now I will make a backup here I will put this next to me and now I want to switch on the mirror but first let me adjust the Sun so I can see my face a bit better later now I will switch to the mirror and there will be a little echo effect when you have the mirror open so please try to ignore this when I speak me now no. this is this the Center, center face, face sphere. sphere. Hello, 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 hello. So you, so can, you see can see whenever, whenever you speak, you speak, the mouth, the mouth moves, moves. Okay. Okay. Grip, delete, Grip, delete. Now this is the first part. What we want to do now is animate the eyelids to have a blinking effect. Let me put the sun back behind me. We don't want to create this from scratch, we want to clone it. So just press the controller button, the upper part uh, on the wife controller, the context laser as we call it, and now you say clone here. Now you context laser, now you create some eyelids first, and then you context laser the, the eyelids. Let's make this quick like this. Context laser this one, and now we want to say at first just wait three seconds or something or maybe five when it starts then become number two in I don't know four seconds maybe and number two is exactly the same but it will switch to three very fast so when starts then become number three in this amount of time and what is number three number three is blink and after the blink is done, it can just go back to cell number one in a very fast time as well. It's like this. Now you can s switch around here. Let's go back to the beginning and we can press the preview button. Then we wait a bit and it wouldn't then blink after a while. That was very quick, but maybe you saw it. Blink, blink. You can do the exact same here. Let's do this fast. I will context laser, laser this. When starts, then become number two in four seconds. We want to do the same so the blinking is synchronized. And we do the same amount of time here. I switch to three, put it down a bit, and three switches back to number one in a very fast amount of time like this. And then we hit the preview button again 
And if everything works, they will now both blink. Okay. And while we're at it, let's give some color to the eyes. This and this. Okay. Well, now it's overlapping. Uh, let me grab this. Oh, it's good enough. And now we can save it again. And then you can put it on again and it will always have this blinking animation continuously forever. Now, this is one of the more involved parts of the scripting. We want to have a button here on our hands which will message the face to do an action. So let's put the face aside for a second. This. And let's create a little button. Create thing. Let's create a little button base first. And then we put a little button on top. And we give it some color here, some color here. Now, what do we do? We context laser this with the top button on the controller. In the first state, we say when touched, then tell. And now you have a lot of tell options. We want to tell buddy. Tell buddy means this button that you will put here later can only communicate with your own body parts. And this is also useful because the face shouldn't listen to any button at all in the world because nobody should trigger your own emotion. So now we say when touched, then tell buddy. And now we type some emotion, for example, for example, uh, crying, then tell buddy cry and maybe we can also continue this a bit and become state two in this amount of time and state two is just a little button animation and we go back instantly like this so when it's touched it goes down and it should come back up again later um, <laughs> check if this is right. Should be right. Okay, let me press the preview and then go like this. And now it works. Okay. Now, we need to save this and attach it here and then we can script the face to receive this. Remember, our tell is cry. We need to listen for the cry keyword now. Let me save this. And I go into the me mode. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, let's clone the face again. We context laser the face. We hit clone. And to cry, you need some emitter. Let's create a little emitter. We will not see this later in the creation if we press a certain attribute. So let's just give this um, nice tear color. And now what we want to do is we hit the material buttons here and we need this one. Click here, tap here. Uh, these are hard to see right now. Let me make this a bit darker so you can see it. And maybe make it a bit bigger as well. So we will have black tears. Those are easy to see right now. We turn this around. And this would be our crying. Imagine there's no black cube later. And we want two of those, but let's just do it for one eye at the moment. So we put it here. Now, we don't want the face to cry all the time. We just want it to cry when it's being told to cry. So what we are going to do is we context laser this one. And we have two states now. I click the second state. This is okay for the second state. It should cry. But for the first state, it shouldn't do anything. It should just be very, very tiny. To make it very tiny, we can just make it like this. And then it won't do any emission. Just put this back here. And now we can see when it's getting big, it will cry. When it's getting small, it won't do anything. Now, how does it switch to the second state of crying? You just say when. Now you look for told. When told by not just anybody, but by your own body to cry. What then? Uh, then become state number two can do this almost immediately and state number two is of course the crying and to not have this continue forever you can say 
when starts then become three in maybe four seconds. And number three will just become number one again in a very short time. So we need to put this on and press the button to actually see if that works. Let me just go through the script one more time to see that I didn't make an error. When told by a body to cry, then become state number two in 0 0.2 seconds. Okay, this is state number two, the crying. When it starts, then it won't change the shape, just remain like this uh, for four seconds and then it becomes three. And at three, it will just quickly go back to this one in 0 0.2 seconds. Now, you don't want to see this little emitter shape here later. So you click the attributes here and you look for height, lights and particle material, which is this one. You turn it on and now you can see it's hidden. Now let's hit the done button. And you can, of course, later if you edit it, click it on again to, to see and move. Okay, let's hit done. No crying. Let me make a sort of backup here if I mess it up, move it around, turn on, turn the light to the front so I can see myself better. Now click the me button Hello, Hello. Why are you Why don't, don't cry? cry? Mm. I'm crying. crying. It's, it's pointing, pointing in the wrong, the wrong direction. direction. Maybe that's just, just um, oh, yeah, oh yeah, of course. A mirror of the lips. lips. So you can so see, you it, see a tiny bit of, bit of tears here. Right here. Right. And, that's, and all. that's all. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and have fun doing your own faces. Bye bye.